Are you tired of spending all of your time doing your admin work or responding to emails all day long with no time to actually design? Well, I'm here to show you how to automate your client experience and make sure that you have the time to do the things you really need to do. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you have not been here before, thank you so much for coming. I post every Wednesday night and every Sunday morning. So if you want to stick around, definitely be sure to check those out because I just love hanging out with you guys and I love talking about graphic design and having this community where we all just bounce ideas off of each other. So super passionate about it. And I'm also really excited to talk to you guys today about how to automate your client experience because I have gone through lots of different ways on how to project manage. Um, I've been designing for about seven years now. So I have definitely gone through lots of ups and downs of kind of just being a little unorganized and not really being sure how to deliver to the clients and make sure that their experience is something that they're going to want to talk about to their friends and get that word of mouth really going. So I'm going to share with you guys today how I utilize Dubsado, which is my project management CRM system, how I utilize that to automate my client experience and make sure that the admin tasks admin tasks, that's hard to say, are getting done while I can go and design and do the work I really need to do and make content. So I'm really excited to show you. Um, but with that said, I want to just jump right into the video and save some time. So let's hop right into it. And I really hope that you guys enjoy it. Logged into my Dubsado and I'm going to show you just a little glimpse into how I set up this workflow, but I'm also going to show you mainly how I create that task board and how I'm really able to create a portal for my clients within Dubsado because that is something that I get quite a few questions on and it's something that I definitely um, have been utilizing and I really really enjoy it so if I head on over here to underneath templates and go to workflows we will see all the workflows I have set up I'm gonna go into onboarding since that is the workflow we're gonna be working with today and this is what my workflow looks like. So if I go into settings, I will be able to change each action here. So this right here is just a to do, which basically just means it's only going to email me that I need to create a task board for whichever client this is assigned to. So it's really nice because as soon as I apply that workflow to the client, I instantly get a email reminder to create that task board, which just helps to have that reminder. So that's why I have that action in there. And then once that action is, um, so once that action is finalized, then the project status is going to change and the workflow is going to begin. So when that happens, the portal will be activated, which is one of the action types you can choose from. So activate portal. And then the next step is to send the questionnaire. So within here, I have my email. This is where I really save time because I'm not having to write the email every single time to my client. I have the basics of what they need, uh, which is their client portal, um, login and everything, the questionnaire, and then just a little bit of information about what's gonna happen next. And yeah, I just wanna like, you know, add some exciting emojis to it because this is an exciting step for them. and you want to make sure that they they feel taken care of so under here under the form template to send you can select whichever form you want and then apply it there and then you can also select how quickly you want this to send once you approve it so i said once i approve it because this is checked off here which is require approval before completing the action and i require approval because i want to make sure that i'm just kind of like a perfectionist with it. I want to go in here and make sure this all looks good before I approve it to send because if for whatever reason we need a different form for this client, I could go in and change that. But you can always remove that and it's going to automatically send all of this for you so there's no extra approval steps or nothing you have to do. Um, so I, I actually do want to approve it too because I want to make sure that I have the task board set up and nothing else I need to add to it. 
but right now I have this set up to go around 30 minutes after everything else is approved. So I'm gonna keep that checked. Um, so it's gonna send 30 minutes after I approve it. And yeah, so then it's gonna apply to the portal once all that's set so that the questionnaire will be in there as well. That is one of the main actions within this workflow. And then if they have not completed the questionnaire, which is really nice, Debsato can actually see if they have not completed it, then I can send a reminder email that just kind of kindly bumps this up to their inbox and reminds them to complete the form. And then the form will also be included in this email. I send that five days after, and then if it's, um, so then after that, create to do, update client task board and add to portal. You could add multiple reminders, but typically if they're not filling it out within five days, then, you know, there might be something else going on and we might have to have a conversation outside the workflow, but I only have that one reminder in there, which works totally fine for me. And then we have a create to do update client task board and add to portal. I just read that. Yeah. So once they finish that, then um, the task board will be updated because that part of the task board is completed. Or sorry, this is my to-do list. So um, for me, I will have to go in and update the task board and add to portal. So that's just gonna remind me through email, just like this first action did. So that is the workflow and how it's set up. But now I wanna go back into that client and show you um, how we are doing this. So I applied a workflow to her already since we already onboarded. She already filled out my proposal and submitted her deposit. I do have proposal workflows in here, which I can show you a little glimpse into that, uh, where they have, I have a to-do list to prepare the proposal, send the proposal, reminder, reminder, reminder. And then if they do not fill it out, they are archived. So I don't need to do that for her. We already actually did that step. So I'm gonna go back to um, the active workflow we have going on. So I am doing the onboarding now, which basically means they are an official client of mine. And now it's time to get to the nitty gritty of their project. I wanna understand more about their brand. And I used to actually send this before they submitted a deposit because I figured that they already put a little bit of time in, they already invested some of their time, like I said. Um, so more than likely they would commit since they already dedicated to fill out the questionnaire. But now I just feel like my questionnaires are too valuable to give for free. So I do it after the fact, but it's still a good tactic and I recommend trying it if you want. But for me, I just do it after they have submitted the deposit. So right in here, um, I actually need to fix this to a different questionnaire since they only have a website design. And um, it's nothing's gonna happen until I click the approve button, which is nice. But once I hit the approve button, like I said, in 30 minutes, she's going to get that email, but I wanna make sure that the portal and everything is prepared and set up for her. I'm using a sample project because I don't wanna mess with my client's task board or anything. So I'm just gonna show you how you can set up a task board and you can actually set up task board templates so that you can just apply that task board to the client and save so much time. So underneath the, um, sorry, the tasks, you can go to task boards and you'll see all the different ones I have. And then within here, you can add, let's say, fill out questionnaire. And then you can add um, some more under here, start web design, mock-up, whatever your timeline is of how you do things. This is just an example of how you could do this, launch website. Um, you can add more underneath it, answer questions, whatever. I'm just adding some fake ones in here, but you can drag them around for however order you want. Um, so I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna go back to that sample project to show you how this works. So now under the task boards tab, I'm going to hit this drop down and add in the sample task board. So now we can see that task board all set up. And then underneath here is where I can assign the dates. Or if I click on it, 
then I can put the due date. The only difference between this and like a Google Calendar is I cannot put ranges of dates. So all I can put really is the date that it's going to be submitted by. So this actually connects with my Google Calendar, which is really nice, but I'm only going to see when I need to submit it. So I'm really, really gonna have to pay attention to my calendar and set up the tasks I need to do up until this date that I select. So if I select that, um, then I can select a signee. If you have employees, you can select them here, save it, and then you can select all the different dates so that the client can see when they're gonna be receiving which things. So now for the portal. The portal's really cool because you can actually see the task board within it. So if I go to the portal view, it's actually just gonna be my email. Which log into the portal, you're going to see this information here. Um, you're going to see the projects that you have open, the emails that you've sent, profile, all that kind of information. So within the portal, you can apply the task board to be viewed there. So the only thing you're going to have to really do to make sure that it is viewed there is hit this drop down, privacy settings, and apply that to the client portal. Now we might have to log in and out to see that, but let's see if it's in there now the sample so now under sample if you have multiple projects with this client you're going to want to guide them to to let them know they need to click on that specific project to see that specific board but once i click on that it'll open and we can now see the project timeline and what that looks like so it's really awesome it's a great way for the clients to feel like they know what's going on you can even just like screenshot this if they don't want to always log into their portal just so they have like a little grid of information about when things are going to be submitted but i love this option i just love having everything so streamlined in one spot for me because i hated having to jump from google calendar to here and like it was just multiple steps but now everything's so streamlined and i love it so much so i wanted to show you that really hope it was helpful once this task board is completed then i would go back into my workflow and approve that action so that we can move on to the next step but that's just a little insight on what Debs Auto looks like let me know if you have questions on it so with that said that is how i currently am sending my clients a portal how i'm sending them their task boards and how we really stay on track with due dates and and one of the hardest things I would say with being a business owner and doing all of this as a one man show right now, I have like people I can send things to developers and all that. But at the end of the day, it's up to me to decide when things are due and when things need to happen. And the only way I can stay organized and on track with that is by using Google Calendar or task boards like these. So they are so helpful and without them i would be literally so lost i wouldn't know what to work on on what weeks so for myself i really like to before i even start the project to sit down and figure out the amount of days i'm going to need for each part of the project and i always like to give my clients a range of weeks depending on what service type they signed up for so for websites that can take me up to 10 weeks for branding that can take four, sometimes to six weeks, all depending on how quickly the client responds and how quickly I get the content from them for the website. So I make sure they know all the different reasons why it takes a certain amount of time and also revisions can totally affect it. So I always like to give them the ranges of numbers and then determine the exact dates once we are at the task board portion of the onboarding and the workflows are such time savers like seriously i'm i'm so like mad at myself for not using them sooner because i have saved so much time by just applying those workflows and i also have a workflow set up so that when someone fills out my contact form on my website they automatically get the calendar link to book a discovery call i had it automatic i changed it to be approval based because you know sometimes we get some weird contacts going through there and i don't want them having access to uh, get on a call with me but a lot of times it's totally fine and it's so easy to just click that approve button and not worry about writing an email and spending my entire day writing emails so i really hope that you guys found this video helpful i really hope you enjoyed it 
please let me know what proje project management system you use. I'd love to check it out and learn some more. And I'd love to hear how you guys are maybe automating your systems. And yeah, I'm here if you have any questions. So let me know. But thank you so, so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, I would really, really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I know that I feel like a lot of us don't actually have a YouTube like account. I know I used to not, but I would appreciate it so much if you subscribe because I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway when I reach 10K and some money will be involved and it'll be a really good one. So definitely help me reach that number and stick around to see when that happens. But thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one.